Peace and blessings. It's your boy, Mr. Wild and Free. I wanna show you all how I've been using Notion to organize my music. Let's hop right into it. All right, so as you can see, here is my music book, AKA the music OS, the music dashboard, where everything involving my music is handled. I'll be giving you all a general overview of this operating system, and then I'll be breaking down each piece of this in subsequent videos. So be sure to check back for that soon. So right off the top, we see a couple of sections here. We have what I refer to as my bell blocks, which I'll talk about in another video, but it's just think of it as a header section. And then here I have the music related notes and a link to my wild and free NFT dash. Inside of this toggle, I actually have the database for my music notes, filtering specifically for those with the music and audio tag. And I can toggle this close. Here you see I have my databases and these are all of the databases that are related to the music inside of this workspace. Next, I have a section to quickly and easily create a new song with a filtered view of my records database showing all things with no titles. And it's just a gallery view so I can see the, the new button here just like this. And then right next to that, I have a nice little quote for some self-motivation, you know? Cut through the noise, no self-doubt, talk your shit. You deserve to be here, fight for it, speak your legacy. DBA, which for me stands for doing business as done being apologetic. Now, back into it. So we have the timelines. Here I can see both the production periods of projects that I'm working on, as well as the conception periods. If I ever wanted to kind of go back and see the periods of time that I was actually working on a particular track or album, and I can toggle this closed. And then right below that, I have a couple of sectioned off callouts that allow me to organize my music pretty easily. So I have a section here to the right. First and foremost, I'll go ahead and talk about the released projects. So you can see all of my released albums are located here in reverse chronological order. So you see the latest release at the top. And then to the left, you see the in creation section. So you can see there's actually two views of my albums database here in this call out. One for projects that are queued, as in this is the next project to be released. And then just below that, I have a section for the projects that are in progress. Albums that I've been working on that might have already made it to recording or post-production stages. Next, I have in conception. So these are the projects that I've been writing on, but have not yet officially recorded or gotten to any post-production with yet. And then to the right of that, I have a quick little section here for album ideas. I'm not gonna let y'all see all of that because I got some things in the, you know, in the cuff just in case those come to fruition. And then just below that, I have sections for ideas and drafts. As you can see, this has my records title still. I can hide it here. I have my singles. I have my duet posts for social media. Let's say I'm writing a song specifically for a track that I heard on Instagram or TikTok. I can write those songs and organize them here. And just below both of these sections, you can see I have a toggle for the released versions of these. So it makes it easier for me to kind of go ahead and organize and, and move those down once they're in a completed stage. And next up, we have the word bank. So the word bank is actually a relatively new addition to this workspace that allows me to categorize the words that I might want to use when it comes to the metaphors or the illusions or the analogies that I put in my lyrics or in my music. So this is just a nice way for me to start taking track of those words. If I want to be deliberate and intentional about my word choice, which I usually am, I can actually come in here and predefine pre-select or stash for a later time words that stick out to me or words that might want to be utilized in a way that I can help to teach another lesson or I can help to make someone aware of something that they may or may not have been aware of before, right? Or even if I just want to talk about something cool like anime and video games or creative things, it's just a way for me to be more intentional about the word choice. And maybe this becomes something that you're interested in as well. And if so, leave a comment down below and let me know. But effectively, you know, I have just the word bank database and I have the names, definition and rhymes with and slant rhymes where I can actually input that information once I'm ready for it. Like I said, still a new section, still working with it, still building on it, moving right along. 
Next up, we have the music tags. Now, music tags I really enjoy because it allows me to work with a predefined list that lets me tag my music in such a way that it aligns with the terms that music supervisors might be searching for when it comes to sync licensing. So if you've seen any of these tag titles before, that's where this is coming from. I'm making sure that I was intentional about including them as predefined tags in this tag database to make it easier for me to to pull from that predefined list to ensure that I improved my odds when it comes to sync licensing opportunities. And of course I have the full table here and there is actually a categorical section for custom. So if I wanted to add my own tags, I can do that in this section here as well. But all right, moving right along to the next thing. Just below that, I have another section that is a sync block of the same exact new song, quick ad, as well as my quote, just that constant motivation. And just below that, I have the database for all records. So now I can see at a glance, all songs that I've released or worked with, whether or not it's on the same album or different albums or whatever. And it allows me to see how many songs I've worked on in total, how many unique bodies of work there might've been. And that's really it. So that's the overview of my music book, AKA the Music OS. Let me know what you all think. Is there a way that I could be utilizing this system better? Are there any examples that you have or ideas that you might share in regards to using Notion for your music organization? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and definitely stay tuned because I'm gonna be giving the full breakdown on this dashboard that I have set up. And yes, I will be making this available as a template. Since you've gotten here to the ending, I want to say thank you and let you know that I have segmented off a nice little piece of this database and made it available for free on my Gumroad account. So go ahead, check out the link in the description and go ahead and get started so that you can understand how you might be able to best organize your music inside of Notion. And on the next couple of videos, we'll be doing that deep dive so I can show you each piece of each one of these databases and how I've structured this dashboard. So until the next time, y'all, peace. And blessings. <laughs>